morning. It's Monday the 1st of March. So that means it's not only a new week, but also a new month. Welcome to this week's Monday message. It's been really great seeing some of the S4s, 5s and 6s back in the building over the last week, completing practical work for SQA qualifications. For those of you who've not yet been back in, I know you might be feeling a wee bit fed up, but please try and stick with it. Keep working away at the tasks that are being set by your teachers. It's really important that you do your very best and that you log on for live sessions as much as you possibly can. We're hoping that on uh, the 15th of March, two weeks today, we'll be able to welcome more of you back in. That's most likely to be more senior phase pupils, but as soon as I have any firm details on that, I will um, update you with that. Uh, S2s started their subject choice process last week. You have until Wednesday the 3rd, that's Wednesday of this week, to get your forms back in. Remember, use all the information that you can. We've put the option booklet onto the teams for you. There's information there for everyone. Please make sure that you read that because these choices are really, really important. They will have an impact on your subjects right the way up until S5. Once you've completed your form, you will be contacted by your pastoral care teacher who will arrange a one-to-one -one meeting with you over Teams to make sure that you are supported to make the very best choices for you. Make sure you get that form in on time though, because if you don't, it may jeopardise your place in a course that might be under pressure for places. So make sure that you get that in as soon as possible. For S1s, Miss Baker is looking for some S1 ambassadors to help her with Primary 7 transition arrangements. So if you would like to be an ambassador and to support our soon-to-be S1s coming here to Clevedon, please drop a note to Miss Baker either on the Teams chat or you can email her with that information. At the moment, we are working very differently and that can be tough. We're living our lives differently, we're working differently, but it's really important that you try hard to remain positive and focus on the things that are good in your life and the good things that are round about us. So with that in mind, what I've posted on all of the your group teams is a calendar for Mindfulness March. And every day there is a wee activity which is all about being positive, and being kind to yourself and those round about you. If you can be more positive about things, it will certainly help you to get through, it will help you to get things done, and it will help you to st you'll stay more resilient. So it's really important that you try to, to focus on the positives. However, remember, if you are finding things really difficult, we are here for you. You can drop a note to me, to your, your head, to your pastoral care teacher or to your class teacher. So don't struggle, get in touch with us. If you need a hand with anything, we're here to help you and we'll do our very best to do so. So I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you again very soon. See you later.